some demand in that it's just it has to be some black patches while on ground. Is there any thoughts or <coughs> like that? Uh, I guess for me personally, to be honest, I'm not really across all of the political issues. <laughs> so it's hard for me to make too many comments about it. I don't actually know the rules either on, on the black armband. So I think for those sort of questions, best to maybe take up with the CEO, Mr. Mr. Carsey. Uh, I, I believe he's probably the man to, to speak to with all that sort of stuff. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Thanks. Last question. Thank you. Sir, I'm sorry, you can ask Mr. Viswanathan that question and he will answer did you, it. Did you heard about this about cutting products? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I don't really know much about it. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's a very important phase of the game uh, and a lot of teams pay a lot of attention to it. So, uh, yeah, getting some wickets early is obviously something that uh, we're looking at. Um, and I guess here in Chennai, the spinners can play a bit of a role. And I think KKR, that they've, they're happy to use their spinners in the power play as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of tactics used, but um, yeah, you, you talk about Sunil Narayan, he batted beautifully, and uh, KL Rahul, that innings was a very special innings. Sometimes there's not much you can do to stop batting like that. How was the wicket like? Did you look at the wicket? How was the wicket like? I just had a quick look there, it looks good. Um, yeah, it's uh, a little on the dry side, so I, I expect the spinners from both teams to play a bit of a part, but uh, in general, I think it looks like a nice pitch and uh, should be a good spectacle for everyone. Us, uh, yeah, I guess um, before I answer any more, just, just to let you guys know as well, a small announcement. Uh, unfortunately um, for us, uh, Kedar Jadav ha has been ruled out for the rest of the tournament. Um, his hamstring uh, scan didn't come back so good. Um, I believe it's a grade two um, tear, so um, he's going to be out for some period of time. We, we haven't picked a replacement as yet, but um, yeah, we'll go through that process. So uh, it's a big loss for us because... Um, He's obviously a very, very good player and a key player uh, for us in that middle order. Um, so it's um, big shoes to fill for a little man, I guess. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, do you think that the, the match against Bank with CSK and KKR will boil down to you for the 16s? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, they've got some quality players. Um, th a very good spin bowling uh, team, but they've also got some match winners there as well. Um, when you look at Guys like Chris Lynn and Andre Russell in particular, um, they can win a match off their own bat or, or with the ball as well. So I, I think the best teams generally have some good experienced players, but you need that exuberance of youth as well. And, and, and sometimes that fearlessness of, of youth uh, can be a bonus. So I don't think that'll be the difference between winning and losing the game. It, it comes down to, in my mind, which team can execute their skills best uh, under pressure. And I think we've got, um, from both teams, some highly skilled players. And so uh, we should see, hopefully, a, a really great contest. It's a difficult one to answer. Um, I, I'd have to say, phew, that the... the the, the, the fans here in Chennai <laughs> are up there with the most passionate fans that I've ever experienced in my entire life. It, it's been incredible the support that we've, we've received since coming back, just coming to training and seeing so many screaming fans, you know, uh, wanting to see the players, uh, has really blown us all away. And, um, you know, it's been well documented how much it means to everyone in the team to be back. Um, we've got a very much a family feel, and the, fam the fans are very much part of that family feel. We feel like the support we get is phenomenal. Um, MS, um, he's very, you know, he's very much invested in this team. He loves this team. Uh, it showed, you know, at our first dinner when he got a little bit emotional, and uh, it shows how much it means to him and to everyone. And, and I've, I think we've seen that from the fans as well. Well, I, I think from our point of view, yeah, we, we, we understand that um, it's going to be an emotional homecoming and, and we, we understand that this place is going to be rocking uh, tomorrow night. But, but from our point of view, we've got to somehow control that. You know, we've got to focus on what our plans are, executing our skills as best as we can and not get caught up in, in that emotion as much. You know, we've got to be very calm and, and calculated in how we play the game. It's going to be tough because the guys are very excited to be back here as well, particularly the guys that have been here in the past. 
but somehow we've got to try and just focus on what's important um, and then, then hopefully the result will take care of itself from there. Mm. Um, I think, um, from what I understand, uh, MVJ, he got a bit of a knock in, uh, in the first few days of training in his ribs. Uh, so he's been quite sore, actually, um, and just, just slowly working his way back to full fitness. Um, he has been training well, though, uh, VJ, and hitting the ball nicely. Uh, and so there's always 50-50 um, calls. I guess that can go either way, and, and sometimes it's just a gut feel of the captain and the coach um, of which way they want to go, um, and uh, and obviously on this occasion they decided to go for Raidu. But um, yeah, Ra Raidu's playing really well, um, and he's obviously played for India and, and done very well as well. Um, but M MVJ, I can say, is is batting very nicely as well. So it's it's a it's a nice headache, I guess, for the coaching uh, the coach and the captain to have. But is he fit to take on the team now? Like VJ. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's ready to go. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. So, will be part in the first eleven? Right? I don't know yet. I, I, I don't make those calls. You can have to take that up with uh, MS or, or Stephen Fleming. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure at this stage. He, he, he's certainly uh, available to be picked. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, is Faf uh, ready to play? No, I believe Faf is not in full training at the moment. He's um, he's recovering from uh, a slight side strain. Um, and, uh, and obviously and he's got a small fracture in, in one of his fingers. But uh, he's going to be ramping his training up a lot in the next uh, seven days, and he's, he's hopeful to be available for selection in the next game against Mahali. Well, losing Kedar is a big loss, no, no question. He's a class, class player. Um, yeah, he, he, um, he was coming back from an injury and unfortunately he's, uh, he's injured again. So it, it's, it's a big hole for us to fill. Um, we do feel like we've got the necessary um, backup or depth to be able to cover it. It's certainly going to be a focus going forward. I, I think the, the players at the top of the order, numbers one, two, three, four, need to take the responsibility to try and score the most, the bulk of the runs. So um, the game against Mumbai, I thought we did, a, we did okay early, but then we, we lost some key wickets at the end of the power play and then leading into the, the, the next phase of the game. And, and so that's certainly going to be a focus of the team going forward is to play some smart cricket up top um, and, and then try and really keep some good partnerships going through that middle order. So uh, we've, we've got the, the players to be able to do it and cover it, but we need to play smart. <laughs> but, I mean, on the field, like, there were a few mishaps, like diving, sliding late. And do you think feeling is a bit of concern? And I, I was surprised, actually, see Mark put his backward point at one point. Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be one of the challenges of our team. Um, we, we do have some older players, I guess. Now, some people see that as a negative. I, I actually see that as a positive. I, I think that experience that we were talking about earlier is important in T20 cricket. And having experienced players, um, you know, can often be the difference between winning and losing um, T20 games because that experience, they've been in all the tough situations before, they know how to handle the pressure. Uh, I guess on the flip side of that is, perhaps we're not going to be the most nimble or dynamic fielding team, but we can still be smart in the field. Uh, I agree, I think in the field there's room for improvement for us um, and, and there's some key areas that we're focusing on that we need, need to get better. In particular, is, is, is in the movement. Um, even if a ball goes out to this side of the ground, we want players in other sections moving into areas where they can help out. So, so it's certainly a focus of the team, yes. Yes. Uh, Mike, uh, now that you've said both Vijay and Pap should, should be ready with us in the next couple of days, and without Keda, do you consider moving up and down the order considering it's done well towards the end of the week for when he played for Mumbai Indians? Uh, Raidu, you mean? Raidu, yeah. Pushing Raidu down to fill Keda's shoes there? I I'm sure it'll be discussed. Uh, no, no question about that. Yeah, we will look at all the different options um, and, and, and come up with what we think is the best balance uh, and the best combination to win, to win that next match. So, uh, yes, it, it's definitely something that we'll be considering for sure.